everyone. Mike the Beast here with Nicole Jelenic. Nicole, how's it going today? Going good, thank you. Awesome. So, what got you into art? What got me into art? Um, my my whole family are artists, so I guess just I know following footsteps, and I love art, so <laughs> you kind of gear towards what you like, you know, when you're younger, and then kind of just flows that way, I guess. Awesome. Did you have any inspirations growing up? Of course, <laughs> other artists. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Anybody that does like comics that look like horrific, I like seeing that sort of thing. Um, anything in movies, like I like looking at prosthetic and like horror movies, things like that. That's all just, you know, inspired you to make shit. Awesome. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. It's not PG. <laughs> okay. Um, and you mentioned horror. What are some of your favorite horror movies slash influences in your, that you try to incorporate in your work? Um, you know, as long as it's good and it's entertaining, I really appreciate stuff that has, um, you know, a good storyline. Maybe something that I haven't seen before, something original. Um, I really, I like gory stuff. So my favorite movie is Hellraiser. I think that's like the best horror movie ever. It's got like everything in it. It's the Princess Bride of horror movies. <laughs> it really is. Um, but yeah, I mean, anything. I pretty much watch anything, even if it's terrible. I'll watch it sure. because every horror movie will have at least one thing you haven't seen before. Exactly. Sometimes you got to get through it, but that's okay. I don't have to watch the whole thing. I could just sit down and like draw and not look up. And then once I can tell something interesting is happening, I'll look up and be like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> They're a good escape, especially with how the world is now. Oh, yes, yes. It's nice to see something worse happening yeah. somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, you're, you have some projects lined with Aftershock coming up, correct? Yes, in October, just in time for Halloween, they're going to have an After Dark um, thing where I did this kind of post-apocalyptic book that Jim Starlin wrote. I was awesome. so lucky to be on board with that. It's very exciting. And then we also have a graphic novel coming out with them too, which I don't know if I can talk about it yet. Sure, yeah. So, but that's, that's, that's going to be cool. Yeah. It's going to be very cool, so make sure you get a copy. Oh, absolutely. Well, have you uh, been in contact with Jim Starlin? Yeah, he's here at the show. He's right over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh, uh, overall, what are your thoughts on Terrificon this year? Oh my god, this has like been, I mean, this show is always good. I've been doing this for a long time. Actually, it used to be located in a whole other city. Yeah. I love it here at this casino. This is like the best. Um, but this has been the best year, I think, because everybody's just kind of cooped up and yeah. everybody wants to get out and it, everybody wants art, which is great for me. So <laughs> it's just good to see everybody awesome. and meet new people. Absolutely. But it's great to see all your friends again and see every, that everybody's been okay. Like everybody, yeah. I was, I was glad I'm not like, Oh my God, they're not here. Are they okay? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, everybody seemed to have come out all right, which is great. Awesome. Nicole, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the show and can't wait for the aftershock stuff. Thank you, thank you.